Welcome, welcome to the wonderful world of pixeling. In this video, I will show you the basics of coloring. So first off, I want to create a green background layer, but you can choose any white color. And this is just basically to help us see where the stray pixels are later on. So I already picked my green. I'm going to use the paint bucket tool to basically color the background there. Next, we create a new layer with this button. And the next step we are going to do is to create the basic shape layer. This will be the shape of your item. Um, I'm not going to do anything much here. I'm just going to keep it simple. So let's say I usually do white for my basic uh, shape layer. So for example, maybe we have something like this. And that will be our basic item right there. Afterwards, we have to create a new layer. And we're going to create a clipping mask by pressing Control. Alt and G. And you see what happened there to layer two? Um, the hotkeys are actually not the same thing with all versions of Photoshop. You actually have to check. So just basically go to layer. And this is where you find the hotkeys for your clipping mask. Anyways, this new layer here is going to be your base color layer. And say, let's see, what color item do we want? I like purple. Do you like purple? Cool. All right. So we're going to have a purple item. Bam. Seeing that basically keeps everything within the item basic item shape. So the next layer here is actually going to be our shade layer. And we are going to press Control Alt G to create another clipping mask. And we are going to select gray, but you can actually use the same color to create your shade, but preferably use gray because you can change the base color layer without having to worry about this purple here. <laughs> so let's see, we want that shade of gray. Hit our brush. That's okay. All right. And that is our shade, but we also have to change the layer style. So typically I use multiply. We get it from this drop down list here in the layer window. And bam, we get our shade. If you want to have a lighter shade, you can actually uh, shift your opacity here. See? It actually gets a little bit lighter as you go down. Say we want it at that level. And we want to blend it in more. So let's see. We can either use a smudge tool or a blur tool. So I'm going to use a smudge tool here. And then fix that up with the blur tool. We create another layer, Control, Alt, and G for your clipping mask. And that is going to be your highlight layer. 
So I'm going to just choose white and create some pretty highlights here. But that's a little bit too intense for me, so I'm going to blend that in with the smudge tool. You can also change the strength up here if you want to. Uh, normally I like to keep in the 70s or 80s. That's a pretty good strength. And there you have it. Pretty much that's how I normally color my pixel items. I haven't done the outline on this yet, but this is just to show you how I do the coloring. Um, there's actually a different way that Trispa uses to color their items, and basically they have everything in grayscale, and then they use gradient maps to color everything for them. And I'll cover that in a different video, but for now this is just the basic coloring steps. All right, so uh, just stand by, and we will get to more tutorial videos.